hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video we will be learning about how we can inspect network traffic logs using playwright and python so basically we are trying to extract network responses and status code using playwright and python now if you do not know what is uh, what does it mean by inspecting network traffic so let me show you that first so i have open this website and you can take any website okay now let me inspect it first and uh, let me so uh, when I inspect it you get this page and then go to network tab make sure this red icon is on that means it is uh, recording now whatever activity we will be doing it will track us so now just click on the login button make sure the password is correct so let me re-enter the password okay now if I click on the login button notice um, few what some uh, some re requests are uh, some requests uh, requests are um, um, fired right now we need to click on the first one so you can see this is the first request that is authenticate slash authenticate and this is a post request and it's returning status code 303 that means it's a redirect redirection request right so next request is secure so that means this is the website currently where that means we are logged into the secured area and it's get request that's fine and uh, this is the status code of 2000, uh, 200 ok and also you can see the response headers and the request headers all these informations right so this is what we are getting it from the network tab but I want this information uh, when executing my script through automation using playwright and python I want these details in my uh, in, in in the console or I need it I need to use this information in the script so how do we fetch this information right so for that uh, we, we need we need some we need we, we need to have some way so that we can achieve this thing so let's try the same thing try to get this information through playwright now I have created this uh, test network inspect.py file and I have just added a template um, for uh, writing the code so we have navigated to this website now and now let me quickly write the login steps so let me quickly inspect it okay so I can see this is ID is given so I can take a CSS I can use CSS locator so let me quickly write it page dot locator dot fill and the username uh, sorry pa, user is Tom Smith next the same way we need to write the locator for password password should be here dot fill and the password is this one okay and uh, after that we are clicking on the login button so for login button I can uh, use this one page dot get by roll and I can use button command name equals to login okay so I need to click on it so let me see whether this code is working or not so I can give some wait page dot wait for timeout uh, 2000 milliseconds now let me run the code by test minus s test as headed and uh, send this miscellaneous test network inspect So it collected one item 
and it's trying to uh, trying to open the website and it yeah it logged into the secured area okay so the test pass so this task is done but our um, goal is to find to get the uh, network traffic right so let's try to do that so what we'll be doing let's write a code with page dot expect request and inside that what we'll be doing we are expecting see this is now login when we are not logged in this is login now when we are logged in that time it should change to secure right so what you have to do here you have to write star star slash secure okay let me uh, log login again okay it's a mistake more probably So now you can see uh, this URL, this resource, this thing got updated, right? So slash secure, uh, this is uh, changed. So uh, this is the endpoint currently for complete URL, right? So that's why we are, we are, we are writing here uh, so the star star. That means this is a actually regular expression. So that is why we are giving star star. That means whatever we do not need to worry about what is before this. So let's say before secure some here in the let assume like I mean assume like here instead of secure it's right written something some different text okay uh, um, super secure or something like that then that case what you have to do you have to use this thing start secure that means start that means whatever text is there it will take for now this is the word only this is the only word which is there after uh, this slash so that is why we need don't have to use the start okay now give a and uh, with this so we will be writing as first or oh, any, any name any name you can give so let's give a name of rq okay and here we'll be adding this three line uh, four line so we got the request now request dot value dot url so let's see what it is printing so now what it is doing it is actually um, whatever request it's getting that request is added in this request um, reference and using that reference you are actually getting the url so this is how you have to get the url now which url this will print right so this will print this url only because uh, after clicking on this login button this is redirecting to this website now we can print like this now what other details we can print so let's say request dot value dot you can see it can print all the header values all the headers as well so you can try this one as well or you can try the method what type of method it is it is a put method or post method or get method that also we can try okay now let's try another value dot all headers so we we'll, are we'll going to print all the headers at the end now uh, what other is available request dot value dot uh, we can try redirected from that also we can try okay print request dot value dot um, a resource type that also we can try resource type or is there any other thing is available redirected to redirected from these all these details we can try so let's first execute these things okay this is the details we need sorry, for the request uh, if we go to the network tab and you can see now it is not there but Yeah, 
so this is the login one so for that you can see okay leave it we can run it and we can see what details it's giving and then we can validate with with the thing that we get here right oops I did a mistake let me close control X so I just press control C to escape uh, to terminate the run because I don't want to remove this part this is not needed now now let me run it again So as you can see the test passed and we can see the details are getting printed. So the first details that is uh, we are getting that is the URL we got. You got the URL. Next the method. So this is a get method. Okay so this is a get method that is why it's giving get method. Now you will be right thinking like oh, why it is get method right because we did it a put. Requ uh, post request because it is login right but this is how this is implemented and uh, what from where it is redirecting right from redirecting from this authenticate so that is a post method you can see here right so this this is a post method but now what we are after uh, like you you saw that already right there was a two th two things one secure one other is authenticate so that secure one was this one okay but it was a redirect request so that is why that redirect request that is slash authenticate that was a post request so that is why it's giving post and this is get okay next uh, redirected to that is none that is okay and the all headers so all the headers that is there now let me quickly log in again and check it I just clicked on this icon to clear the console or the, or the network tab right not the console but the network tab and now I'm recording it again so if I click on the login button you can see this is recorded and you can see these two thing where we, uh, we just saw that so this is 303 that is the redirected URL and uh, this is the final one that is the page where we are currently and now we can see uh, the header values so accept so this is a request header um, where is the request header yeah this is the request header so you can see accept all the requests uh, details are there now you can easily uh, this is I think this is a dictionary so you can uh, extract each and every um, key and values one by one whatever you need you need host so we can get it that as well uh, so that I'm not showing how to extract this um, one uh, each every, each and every value from this dictionary that is a simple Python thing that you can try by your own and uh, now uh, let's um, and we get few other details like the method name that is a get there is it is printed and from where it is redirected that is also it's there it's giving like uh, it's telling us like from this URL it is redirected now let's try to get the response um, I mean response details right so for that what you can do we can just uh, same same thing it, it will not be uh, different so this is a request so let me copy this code and let me write it here and this should be changed to response okay now this is res and let me comment this code and this as well okay now let's try to print few details R response dot 
value dot now let's try to print the headers all headers and let's try to print print few other details as well print place value dot status text so what is the response status that also we can get it and also you can try status so status text I don't know what does what is that status would be like um, 200 status status is 200 and status text I probably it is okay so that is the text and what else okay we can get the value body as well so let's try to print the body I don't know I don't, don't know whether it will work because I haven't tried it but uh, let's try here what else is there anything I think we need it I think that's the only, only thing for now we need it because see there are other methods and properties are there so that probably we can try whenever we need it so I think this is fine so let me remove it now let's run it once again so this time we are getting the responses so you can see uh, so okay so it's giving us first all the headers right all the headers now let's verify it uh, this is the response headers and uh, you can see the connection equals to keep alive let's see is, is, is it there or not yes connection keep alive content length 1974 yes so this is a complete request headers and uh, we can get it using the dictionary methods uh, because this is a dictionary so we can extract each and every value next the status text that is okay that is also correct and the status code is 200 that is also correct and the next it is printing the body that is this one so body is you can get it here response body so complete body is given here as well so maybe it some sometimes we need to verify validated few details like check whether this code whether this text is available in this response body or not that is also we can do it although these things we do normally with the api testing part but uh, if in case we need it we can try it uh, from uh, the ui as well while doing the ui automation okay so this is how we can uh, uh, inspect the network traffic uh, what each and every details of the network traffic whatever detail we need we can fetch it okay so that's it for today's video if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to the channel and yep thanks for watching